Now, one of the most important ideas we can get out into the culture as transpersonal psychologists and as Gnostic intermediaries is the recognition that there are two very, very, very different kinds of religion. There is conventional narrative-based religion and there's transconventional practice-based religion. Conventional narrative religion centers around a story, technically a narrative. And the primary means of salvation is by belief in the story. Those who believe, believe are saved and their brothers and sisters. Don't who, those who don't believe are heathens and in deep trouble. Salvation comes from faith is the kind of motto of this mythic worldview this conventional narrative-based religion. Now, in, develop, in de technical developmental terms, many of you will know James Fowler's developmental stages of faith. So in James Fowler's uh, developmental se series, this is literal mythic faith or synthetic conventional faith. That a kind of, it's a developmental stage which takes quite literally the mythology. Lao Tzu really was 900 years old when he was born, etc., etc. Okay. Now, tragically, this is the only kind of religion that our culture and media really understand. But what's really crucial for us to be able to communicate as transpersonal psychologists and Gnostic intermediaries is that there is another very, very different kind of religion, which is transconventional psychotechnology. This is a, a kind of religion which centers not on faith and belief, but rather on practice, on cultivating and training the mind. Because authentic spiritual traditions or practices or disciplines are psychotechnologies designed to train, tame, transform, and transcend the mind. And their goal is to help us develop the great virtues, the all-encompassing love, the transcendental wisdom, the purity of heart, which have been the, the goal of spiritual practitioners across cultures and countries and centuries. And the test of the validity of these, the way these are tested is not by faith, but simply by looking to our own experience. And as the ancient saying has, to see if this be true, look within your own mind. And as you recognize these different kinds of religion, and as you recognize that they are developmentally based, suddenly an awful lot of things about our contemporary world begin to make sense. Because you recognize that many, many of the cultural and religious conflicts that are tearing our world and our society apart are actually developmentally based. They're based on the fact that there clashes between a conventional mythic worldview and a post-conventional or even sometimes trans-conventional worldview. And when this developmental difference goes unrecognized, then each party believes the other is either obtuse or malevolent or heretical. But when it is recognized, then there's the possibility of translating and empathizing and appreciating and having some kind of constructive dialogue. This is one of the great ch challenges of our time for transpersonal psychology and for Gnostic intermediaries.